<laughs> Alright, so now that's, that's what I would call a successful nether mission. And it's... Dark-ish. I'm not really sure what's going on. Is it during the day? I'm not sure. Um, yeah, so that, we've actually got quite a bit now. So let's take this home. Safely. Okay. Yeah, it's starting day. I guess we have a full day ahead of us. I don't know if any zombies or any kind of uh, enemies spawn, but we should be fine. Real quick, while we're here, I'm gonna gather some berries. It's probably best when you don't have a shield equipped. But that's pretty much what I do. You just kind of go through the uh, the bits of the orchard, orchard, pick them up, and we pop them in the, on the, in the barrel. Freaking all that time and others messed up my. I know the noise probably sucks, but. That works for me. Well, not the noise, but like, it's very really fun gathering a whole bunch of sugar cane on a row. Got a lot of spruce building up, but not a lot of, well, not all of them have grown. So I'm just gonna wait. Back home again. These are still taking a while to grow. I think it's because I don't, I don't actually know for sure, but I don't think. That stuff in the other world is actually like spawned in, so I don't think any of it's actually growing or stuff. I could be wrong. For that or maybe I just not played long enough for it to really grow that long. But either way, I got Aw oh, man, those other books are so cool. Got some obsidian now too. Uh, I need a place to put all this lava garbage because I don't need lava right now, but I don't want them in the buckets, and this isn't a very permanent solution. Hmm. You know what? I've got a spot. I think I'll start using some of this iron and then I grind it out. Well, I say grind it. I made uh, was it iron bars? There we go. Let's get Yeah, so I think I'm done for the nether right now. I will be going back in there soon because like I keep saying, I need ender pearls. And if I can be lucky enough to find a, a warped forest, that's my best bet. Because just hoping they spawn at night is not a great plan. Especially considering I have to contest with a lot of other enemies. So I will be looking for a warped forest, but for right now I'm going to... Kind of straighten up a bit at, at the base because we kind of got a lot from the Nether. Like we got these blaze rods, which let me smack these in the crafting table and see. Yeah, so I can get two. So I can have at this point, if I can get twenty eyes of Ender, I can get twenty. Well, twenty Ender pearls. I can have twenty eyes of Ender, but well, that's like more than enough that I could possibly need to get to the end portal. Which I could be wrong. I might need a lot more, but for right now. I'm just gonna leave my blaze rods in this chest, which I will have to clean out later. Uh, that there. Salt torch. Tinder. Let's get my compass, my clock, and my bed out. Nature stuff. We have some strings. I will be making a fishing rod, so I can show you guys how the the, the automatic fisher, the AFK fish farm, doesn't work as well anymore. It was not going to shut off until now. These here, a bone, itch. I refill my bread. Alright, sick. So 
let's break this very quickly. Now I'm going to deal with this lava. And I'm going to put it into the wall. There we go. Now we have our own little lava pool that should be blocked off. I'm pretty sure these iron bars won't let any sparks fly. And if so, I mean, at worst, we lose this, which is just plants. Like, yeah, they're good for emeralds, but I can get this back. Like, I have plenty of carrots and potatoes in the chests. So I don't know if, for whatever reason, this somehow gets a, like a lava, like, I guess. I want to say spark, but I know it's not, like, just like a little drop of lava flies out all the way over here, we should be fine. It's not going to be as bad as, like, the whole whole base burning down like I almost did the other day. Or, well, no, that was, that was the start of this one. I don't remember. But yeah, so, see, so like, those right there. Those shouldn't get out of the bars. But we have a little water pool, so that's cool. And I can start using these buckets more water. Well, um, we did this. Um, we did that. So out of the out of the two, out of the six to do lists we put for ourselves, we've already accomplished two of them. That's pretty good. I'm I'm done for that. Okay. Oh, that's right. I was going to show off the fish farm. Let me get these up. Look out here. So, the way they nerfed it, from what I've been told, is that you don't get any like treasures from it anymore, like saddles or anything that's not fish or like ink sacks or like anything that's not junk. Oh, I have a boat in here. I could have been using that for. I need to go try to get a wolf. I'm gonna use that. So you can still hold it down and let it just do its thing, but you only get regular fish and no treasure, no enchanted books, no. The name tags, which is actually the whole reason we made it for our iron farm. So if I were to die right now and have to redo this hardcore, the only way I'm going to get a name tag that I can think of is, well, I can still fish for it if all the stuff that, like, that I'm talking about, the treasures and stuff, you can still fish for it, but you have to fish for it in actual water or like a large body of water. These kind of farms just don't work for that anymore. You can still fish for all that stuff, it's just you have to actually be participating and you can't just let it run overnight like I did which makes sense it was kind of unbalanced and I've mentioned it before but just so if all you're wanting is fish for like food uh, that works you can still get fish for food um, and I want to say there's still some useful non treasures but other than that it is kind of nerfed but it's still useful so I'm just gonna Leave this here for now, but that is just so y'all know, it's not great, but it still has its uses. So use it how you will. This place is a mess with torches. But I'll leave that for later. Let's go see if I can get lucky with this bone real quick. I got a doggo, cause that would be huge. Oh, and some of these spruces are coming in. Nice. I guess I should have like tried to keep track of the one that I already gave a bone to. Just try to get the same one, but give it a higher chance. Maybe I should truly really wait until I get more than one at a time. But I like to risk and gamble. Well, not really. But in this situation, I'm absolutely going to try and see if I can get a dog of one bone. If I can get four chickens and a one egg, I can get one. I can get tame. A wolf slash dog with one bone. Like I gotta be able to. Well, oh, there's a beehive. Wait, where are they? I know 
gonna run this hill over here. Should be one up here if I actually get up. Don't like that. There's Pigo. Hello. Hello, doggos. I have food. Well. Aha. Uh -huh. Nope. Well, I still love you, boy. Slash girl. It was a failure, but it was still a fun adventure. And not even an egg. Or not even a chick out of that. It's a wrap, man. Alright. So. Um, I think I'm going to start trying to do some cow farming. Oh, I just realized. Now that we have our diamond pickaxe, we can actually go make it, or go get obsidian for our enchanting table. I guess. Why don't we do that then? Let's see real quick, and let's go get some obsidian. I only need one, I think, because I got the one from the uh, piglins. And I only need two? Or it could be three. Let me check. Four. Wow. I guess I was thinking about the diamonds. Okay, so let's go get three obsidian. That should be easy enough. I'm sure I can use that. It's terrible foreshadowing if I can't, though. So. Where? Oh. You know what? I have the perfect place to go get obsidian at. And now while it might get rid of some of our um, style of the uh, the house, this is perfect. The perfect place to make obsidian. Boop. Just like that. I guess if I would have thought a little quicker about the time pickaxe, so I wouldn't have made this little hovel in the first place. But. Whatever. I have an idea for later. Whenever we need have iron or have lava again. We'll have to move our cake shrine though, since we have an actual enchanting area. Or an actual enchanting table for our enchanting area. Uh we get some stone. Actually, let's do bricks. Nether bricks. Heck yeah. What, what else do we... I needed something else. And I don't know what. Oh, I was just gonna make the... I only... Oh, okay, I've got two. Uh, for a second, I thought I only had one or two. Or one diamond, and I'll gonna not free Maybe a little bit of pickle. Oh, okay, sweet. Da -da -da -da. Da -da 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 -da. There's no advancement for that, really? I thought that it would be one. Okay. Oh, so there's a lot more action enchantments in here because of the 1.16 update. Real quick, though. There really is no enchant. Oh, okay. So there's not one for making the enchanting table, but there's one for enchanting an item. Okay. That's cool. Let's look at some of these new other ones. Got a struggles. Okay. E okay, that's fine. That's the bastion remnant. So that's a new one. Those were the days. A chest in a bag. Oh no. That's not even right. If uh, so, another thing I learned from those videos I watched is that piglins will aggro if you open any kind of chest, like regular chest, ender chest, skulker box. The only type of things they don't aggro for are like dispensers or hoppers. So that's just that's just trying to get someone killed. Uh, ancient debris. That's needed. One point sixteen. Don't have that. that. Use a compass on a low stuff. Wow, country loads hit me home. That's cool. And another armor. Cover me in debris. I like that a lot. That's cool. 
Seven. Oh, yeah. That's fair. Let's make like another highway. Seven kilometers? Would that? Oh. What? Seven kilometers? I don't know what that amounts to in blocks. Because I know one bl every one block in the nether is eight blocks in the overworld. But. Why is that seven kilometers? Is that like. Seven thousand blocks? Or I guess. Divided by eight. So like. A little less than one thousand? I don't know. That's weird. Spooky. That's normal. That's normal. Normal. There we go. It's kind of fitting in. Each one anchor. I will have to learn how to do that. Try to play with gold. I guess. Oh, I had to be. Aggroed with him, I guess. To get that. Because I did trade. I had a strider. With the warp fungus on stick. Oh, so those are. It actually does call them nether biomes. I don't know about that. It's cool. So there's five in total. It's still, I mean, it's not as many as the regular world, which as I think, like 60 something, 42. That was way off, but it's still a lot more than five. I do want to try the Strider stuff there because there's these new enemies or I guess neutral mobs that will, if you have a warp fungus on a stick, you can attract them over to you and then ride them over lava pools. And that sounds really cool. So I, would, I do want to try that eventually. Yeah, let's put this enchanting table up now. I don't have any bookshelves, but we can work on that next week with some leather. Uh, let's just do it. This is kind of where I was going to put the actual thing. So I'm just going to kind of put it in the corner for right now. But, oh wait, you know what? And to commemorate another victory, I'm not... I don't have any pieces of food gone, so I can't eat it, but I was going to, it's going to be really cool. I will next week, I guess. I don't know. But you know what? I'm just going to get myself hungry for food. Come on. I guess I can do this real quick. Boop, boop, boop. Now that's a lava section, although I should really kind of go around it and... I'll go back and get more other bricks to make this little lava pool here. But for now, come on. Make, there we go. I know I'm wasting cake, but it's just one emerald and I got it for fun anyway. No. All right. Uh, no, I still want, okay. Mm. Nah, we're good. Okay, so that's gonna be all for this week. Thank you guys so much for watching. I hope you had an amazing week. I hope everyone's still staying safe from all the whole pandemic garbage. Just, I don't know, stay in good spirits. Uh, again, if anyone's out there who's interested in WoW, please hit me up. We have... I'd like to meet some of you guys if you guys watch my videos and we can play games. I think WoW, being an MMO and whatnot, better with friends, will be a good game to kind of go on. I try. So yeah, if you're interested in that, just, I don't know, I guess put some put it in the comments. And... Have an amazing week. Keep it classy.